Hi there, this is Suzuki V-Strom 250. This is the baby V-Strom. But if you see the higher siblings, 650. Now 700 is coming. 800D has already been launched in different countries in the world. And then already existing 1050. You will not find much of a difference. Maybe they are very strong because they have to carry some more heavier engine and power also varies. It is 26.5 at 9300 RPM and 22.6 Newton meter of torque at 7300 RPM. They will be having very much like you know 800D which I bought recently that has 84 PS or BHP and it's a uh, torque is 78 nanometer but you will find the engine part is fully packed because that is very heavy engine very powerful engine that is something like 785 cc or 76 cc i'm not very much sure and uh, everything is ditto that's why i bought this 800 d only because the suzuki 1000, 1050 and Suzuki 650 has revolutionized the whole world. It has been for there for the last 22 years and it has no complaint. It is called, which cannot be killed, like Toyota Hilux. This vehicle cannot be killed. You throw it in the ocean, drop it from the mountain, but it can never be destroyed. So is the case with this. What charms me much here in this bike is this tire, which is really very broad. Of course, it is only 140, 70 or 70R17. But its uh, counterpart, Jigsaw 250 has 150, 60 or 17 But this is a little thinner because it is meant for doing some kind of soft off-roading, crossover sports bike, sport touring bike. This is really wonderful. I have driven thousands and thousands of kilometers here on the tar road, on the cement road. And now you see I've made so much marks on this grassy land in the pasture of the beautiful Telangana state of India. Viewers, I'm so much proud of this vehicle. This is really my heart and soul and I love it so much. It's so beautiful. Everything is wonderful here. Beautiful, most efficient engine. I get near about 44, 45 because I never apply brake. My driving skill is so profound that I control everything with my throttle valve itself. Only applying brake is when there is some kind of speed breaker or some kind of emergency, rarely. I've driven this bike up to 130 km also. I defeat most of the smaller cars because their speed limit is only very limited. And this bike has not got a steel number plate, so there is no chance of anybody catching me driving at a very high speed. So this is the situation. Thank you, viewers.